I'm not sure why I got reminiscent and looked back at posts I had made at exactly this time three years ago. But maybe it's because it's so hard to believe that it's been that long. Um, I was furloughed from work. Um, Everything shut down between Wednesday and Friday of the week of hmm, uh, March 15th would have been the Sunday. So between March 11th and March 13th, all schools, most businesses closed um, and people stormtrooped stores and uh, I was furloughed and needed to do a ton of cleaning and try and find protective gear for our home as I was um, told by our doctors that I needed to wear gloves and a mask at home. So little was known at the time. Um, I sanitized like crazy. But I also undertook a card writing um, project that I called Project Encourage. And I think I ended up sending over 350 cards. I had a friend say, that's a lot of postage. But you know what? It was completely worth it. Um, If I surprised any one person with a card, um, I reached out to our church. I reached out to skating families. Reached out um, to anyone who said they needed a card. I wanted to send them one. Um, and I see your new nurse that had helped my mom was in the COVID unit at ICU at Glenbrook and still is. And I sent a care package to all the workers that she could take to her, take with her there. Um, it was as affirmative for me as it I hope was for others. I did Easter baskets that I delivered, social distanced on the curb, letting parents know that I would be coming and I'd call them on their cell phone and say, this was me, I was in a princess outfit. So funny, I I think people, the workers outside thought I was crazy, but um, I would leave things on the doorstep and run and say happy Easter and um, do that for some families at our church. And, um, gosh, I do you remember how quiet the streets were? And, um, yeah. So I had supplies for various projects I was working on. Um, you know, um, it was the heart and soul that went into it that also fueled me getting through that time. And, um, realized that graduations and birthdays and things, especially for kids, were just going to get just passed by, and I didn't want to let that happen, so um, I set out to send cards to the most outgoing and the most introverted people alike that I know and knew, and um, I hope you received one. If you'd like to receive one now, private message me and you will get one in the mail. Because, uh, crazily enough, I just uh, recently got over my third round of COVID, a different form each time, and um, once before any vaccinations, and this one after all the ones that are available. But do you remember when we did the lights? Do you guys remember that? We were supposed to put hearts in our windows and maybe a stuffed animal for kids passing by. I had like a perched teddy bear up there and um, we put lights in our window and uh, yeah. There was some solidarity and uh, unity of purpose and getting through this that certainly was not... something I wanted, wanted, uh, as people were, were extreme.
extremely sick in the beginning. They didn't know how to treat it, and um, people died and, and things like that. But there was something that brought us together. And um, not having lived through World War II, that was probably it's probably the only experience I've had in my life that's been like this. So, love and peace to you. Congratulations for getting through the last three years. I think we're, we're coming out the other side where the sun shines.